books. From the heart of this dark evacuated campus, I can hear the library humming in the night, a choir of authors murmuring inside their books along the unlit alphabetical shelves, Giovanni Pantano next to Pope, Dumas next to his son, each one stitched into his own private coat, together forming a low gigantic cord of language. I picture a figure in the act of reading, shoes on a desk, head tilted into the wind of a book, a man in two worlds holding the rope of his tie as the suicide of lovers saturates the page, or lighting a cigarette in the middle of a theorem. He moves from paragraph to paragraph as if touring a house of endless paneled rooms. I hear the voice of my mother reading to me from a chair facing my bed, books about horses and dogs, and inside her voice lie other distant sounds, the horrors of a stable ablaze in the night, a bark that is moving towards the brink of speech. I watch myself building bookshelves in college, walls within walls as rain soaks New England, or standing in a bookstore in a trench coat. I see all of us reading ourselves away from ourselves, straining in circles of light to find more light, until